give me information About the day I had I just need an inspiration To get out of my bed My old radio is on local Spreading them bad news So I'm trying to be social But someone blew my fuse It's a new day Such a wonderful day Now it's time to be free It's a new day Feel I'm falling away Like a new start for you And for me Hello, hello, hello and welcome to Campus News. This is a brand new and shiny format initiated by camera and taken over by, well, me. My name is Lisa Teresa Daniden and I'm a second year student at Roswell Academy. Today you're watching the first ever episode of Campus News. It is a bit of an experiment and still needs a lot of help and refinement, so bear with me. But well, here we go! Starting, of course, with the intro week of the new semester, the spring semester 2011. Campus News! Before the beginning of every semester, Roosevelt Academy organizes intro week for its new students. The new students are assigned to a family, and the older RA students are then the parents that try to explain everything that's important to the new students before hell starts. I mean, before the courses and all the work start. So, the city is filled with the new students with bright new t-shirts that show that they belong to us. This year, they're in bright pink. However, the city won't be that filled in the spring intro week, because we only welcome a few more students, 24 in total. There will be exciting activities and parties, 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 and more parties. So let's go get to know the new ones. Oh, that's right, that's right, I'm sad and blue, because I can't do the boogaloo. I'm lost, I'm lost, can't do my thing, and that's why I sing. Give me, give me that Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. See, enjoy the dinner. Yeah. Are you ready for pop crawl? Yeah. 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 Slightly less enthusiastic. <laughs> The new students have shown themselves to be as multifaceted as a 20 side dice. Some of them can't appreciate the qualities of architecture. I'm 20 years, 20 years old, and I studied architecture all the year, and then I quit uh, because I didn't like it. And yeah, it was too much of architecture stuff. It was more than I expected. So we're interviewing one of our new students here now. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Victoria Vaniha. Uh, I just arrived yesterday to Roosevelt Academy. I'm Polish. I'm, um, yeah, I lived there for most of my life. And I lived for the past three years in Hilversum. Uh, I went to the International School of Hilversum. Others have secret identities and hidden talents. Hi, what's your name? Mindy. Mindy. And you're from? Um, South Dakota, US? Yeah. Mega Mindy. <laughs> I'm simply friends. Okay. Yes. So, what's your name? My name's Candace Long. Can you tell us something fun about you that everyone should know in our A about you? Um, I'm just really friendly. I don't know. Oh, friend. <laughs> we don't have that a lot. <laughs> what are you planning on studying here? Um, I really hope I can study Dutch. Um, I'm not sure what else I'll be studying, but I'd really like to take some Dutch. So, so are you from where? From Nebraska. Um, I'm one of the UK exchange students. So you're gonna leave after this semester? Yes. Alright. 
and some are eager to win. What's your name? Doug Arbach. And where are you from? Iowa. Iowa. So you're gonna leave after this match? Yeah. And what's your family name? Uh, Jennifer Anderson. Do you think you're gonna win this interview? Of course, obviously. Are you excited for the pop quiz? I suppose so. Could be interesting. Scared for the question? Not really. Do you think you're gonna drink a lot afterwards? Probably not. are just happy to start the new season. Oh, it depends on the night and depends on the wallet. So well, it's we'll the first RA night, so... That's true, that's true. Yeah, well, um, I don't know. We're going for double digits, maybe. <laughs> so <laughs> enough to make you try. Yeah, what were you planning on studying? Um, right now, I chose Introduction to Life Sciences, Rise and Fall of Europe, an introduction to economics, but I'll probably go in more of the life sciences, so maybe drop the history and then do a ma minor in uh, economics. That's what I want to do. So. Are you scared? Uh, no, I'm more excited than scared, actually. Yeah, I'm more excited. <laughs> Just like nice living on my own now, in the dorm rooms and stuff. I used to be enthusiastic. Good luck, students. Good luck. Special. Special. We're having here an exclusive interview with Mother Nature. It was very hard to find her, but we managed to. So, Mother Nature, you kept undercover for so long. Why do you show yourself today? Well, I was asked for this really, really important pub quiz and I figured, you know, I've been in hiding for so long and I was talking to my friend Santa Claus, who was also in hiding and we totally thought, maybe seeing as Santa Claus is becoming more and more popular because he works with Coca-Cola, I should totally also become more popular by working with students. Yeah, and you know, like the world is all being fucked up and stuff, so maybe Mother Earth should get the side of students because they are the future. And you're much prettier anyway. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite catastrophe, I was very proud of the snowstorm I did last year in Holland because I only did a tiny bit of snow and it totally freaked everyone out. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, that was a good one. Thank you. Are you a vegetarian? Yes. I do not eat the creatures I, I create. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't you create salad? I do, but salad is very mean to me often, so you know I eat that anyway. To right. <laughs> learn some manners. Do you want to tell us how old you are? I am eternally old. <laughs> eternally old? That's very old, I think. Do you like Smarties? Smarties? <laughs> I love Smarties. She loves Smarties. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about cities? Do you like them or do you think they're destroying what you created? I think they totally fuck up what I create. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not sure if I can say that. <laughs> But now, also, I've read that they want to start making these kind of like vertical gardens where they have buildings that have nature in it, and that's really stupid. Because it's people trying to make what Mother Earth made, and that's not cool. Yeah. Um, what is the biggest mistake you ever made? Or nothing at all? Jellyfish. Jellyfish are really annoying because because of jellyfish people don't go swim in the sea, which is totally awesome because you know it took me a long time to make it because there's so much of it. Can you not wipe them out then? No, That's I don't mean, have the right? power. The jellyfish doesn't mean, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. cost me more for. <laughs> Last question: Can you give us the weather forecast? Tomorrow it will probably rain and be sunny for a minute and get everyone's hopes up, but then it will rain again. All right. But that was not their nature. Thank you for this interview. You're very and welcome. Now we the ending of the first ever episode of Campus News. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and are looking forward to the next episode. If not, don't be bitchy about it and complain, but change it! And become part of the crew. Or if you don't want to invest that much time, send your ideas for improvement to me via the website. Thanks for watching! Bye! This was a Darjeeling elephant.